spoon of the broth, just glaze it a little bit. It'll help the steam. Watch Chef Trevor, he's doing it away from himself. See how this is happening? And this will help us steam it. So just like Chef Trevor's doing it, add a little bit of stock, and this will help fully cook those raw edges of the dumpling. And it'll help the inside filling cook. Yeah, you can just tilt the pan away from you. Tilt it down and away from you. There you go. Like you're showing someone. Just like you're showing someone. Right, right, Vicky, you don't like someone? And you want to splash it. You can give those dumplings a flip after a second or two. Now is when you'll find out if they're closing properly. Uh, are the new bowls coming or they came already? Uh, they are out. Yeah, they okay, are. Cool. Um, so, right, should I add more broth to this stuff? Or? And you just want a little bit of broth at the bottom of the pan. Just We want to glaze these up and get them cooked nicely. Come on, you have a beautiful color there. It's a little yeah, dark, it's a little dark yeah. but it's, still, it's going to be a lot of flavor, right? Looking good. Can we throw some of these in there? Can we fry some of these up too? Great question. Yeah. If you want to throw some dumplings into the broth, you may. Just bear in mind, what we're going to do is we're going to take some of our cooked dumplings, we're going to place a few at the bottom of our bowl, and then we're carefully going to strain our broth into it. We're going to carefully add that liquid over the strainer, very slowly and gently. You already put them in, that's totally fine. The only problem is you have all those bits of garlic and, and lemongrass, you want to strain that out a bit. If you are at home, you can let this broth go for about an hour or so, that's no problem. The longer you go, you'll intensify the flavors. So you're going to get some of your cooked up wings into your bowl. Oh, yeah. I smell something burning. It's always reassuring. That's fantastic. What's up? A little bit high on the pan. A little hot. Yeah, let's try it. High heat lacquer. High heat lacquer. Number three. That's great. You look delicious. Too hot the pan. Broth, we can strain some broth in here. We can garnish it with our green onions. Any additional garnish with left, we have some lettuce here. If you have any cilantro left, you can steal from your neighbor. That's good here. Not cooked yet? Yeah, so, so you can continue. Yeah, it'll continue to cook in here. Question, and, then, and then you want to add a little more broth. Oh. Yeah, I'm here. Yeah. Right here. Right here. Right here. Just, I was just asking, like, how do you know? Like, it didn't look cooked to me. And then I would just add some more broth yeah. into it, and then just keep simmering away gently. Right. Nice holding around on both sides, and uh, that's the most important step with Chef Trevor did. Yeah. You're already eating, Chef. So how's it going, guys? So far, so good? Are we in the plating mode? 
Chef, do you want to talk really quickly about, you know, some people like to dip their dumplings, so is there, would you have some recommendations on what they could use as a dipping sauce, maybe, if they wanted to? If you wanted to use a really cool dipping sauce, there is a ponzu sauce, a soy base uh, sauce. You can use some ingredients that you have in your miso class. If you mix the soy sauce and hoisin and red wine vinegar together with the sesame oil, you have a beautiful dipping sauce right there. You can really use anything that you like. Oh, what you're pointing to this? It's a mousse. Oh, wow. Wow, you give people a platform and they just fly. At home, you can choose different fillings. Obviously, we have this incredible turkey product today that we're using. But at home, if you wanted to use a vegetable or a pork, you can sub it into this recipe. This broth is just a base. So you can add anything else that you want it to to uh, come up the flavors. All right, so if you've got your plate all laid it up, we would like to invite you to the back table. Enjoy your meal. We want to thank Chef Devin for being here today. Woo! Thanks so much. We want to thank Anne and Mike for being here and sharing us the story of turkey and local produce. We are here doing programming until next Saturday. 45 different sessions for 45 of the best chefs in this country. So thank you so much. And you. And, and, and you're one of the chefs. You're one of them. So thank you so much. Chef Devin's gonna come down and he's gonna eat with you guys. Maybe uh, take a couple pictures, you sure. know, do a couple fun things like that. Oh my God, can I have a picture? I'm not begging. <laughs>